what's going on guys casual savage here and in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to do a teleport effect in vegas pro 14. now i know i done a teleport effects last month however this is a different one as you can tell from the video at the start it looks better in my opinion but it also takes a lot more time to create so when you go to record what you want to do is make sure you have the background by itself so you're not in it then what you want to do is set this to best and full and simply take a snapshot i'll save this to my desktop and we'll just keep it there for now then when it comes to recording how you actually do this if i just forward this here this is what it will look like so you're going to jump in the air and of course land back to normal then you're going to walk to your next position as you can see i'm checking the camera if i'm still in shot and then you're going to jump again as if you just landed and then do whatever you want to and that is how simple it is to do the recording part now what we're going to do is find the part where i jump and we're going to find my highest part in the jump not when i'm coming down so right now I'm going to use my arrow keys on the keyboard and as you can see my feet go down there so that's what we don't want. So it's this part right here which is my highest point in my jump. So I'm going to press S on my keyboard to split and just move this to the side. I'm then going to go back one keyframe and I'm going to take a snapshot again and this is going to be image 2. This time we're going to drag and drop this in straight away. And I'm actually going to put this on another track so we can work on it up here. And we're actually going to make this a uh, very precise 13 frames. So uh, if you don't know uh, where to count the frames, as you can see this number here where it says 22 for me, these are our frames. So if I go past one keyframe, it now goes to 23. So we want this 13 frames, which means of course we need to come to uh, 5. Just like that, so that is 13 frames. I'm going to shorten this down. And for those that get confused uh, why it's back to 5, it's simply because this only goes up to 30 frames as you'll see. Then it resets and then goes back to 1 to 30 again. But we're staying at 5 for now. Now we're going to press the event pattern crop. And now I recommend extending this all the way out so it'll be very easy for you to see how you're masking. Then make sure you select the masking tool. Make sure you're right at the start on the first keyframe. Zoom into yourself to make this easier. And now this masking doesn't have to be very accurate, but you want it to be somewhat accurate. So I'm going to show you now, we want to make sure it's the anchor creation tool. And I'm going to start on the foot down here. So left click. As you can see, I'm not completely uh, close to my body, but I am getting uh, closer to make it look still good. Now you want to make sure you go all around your body. Some people make this mistake where they'll just link back up. You still have this gap in between so that means you have to come up and go around. And here we go. The next thing which is super important, link back up. You'll know you links back up when you see all of uh, the dots go yellow. If you don't then you must have missed a point or you're not connecting to the right one. Left click and then you should get this. So we can X out of this. As you'll see I'm by myself. And then that snapshot we took at the start, we're going to drag and drop this. So now it looks like it's normal again. So before we go any further, we're now going to make us disappear from this part. So we're going to press the event effects button right here. And now from here, what you want to look for is linear blur and pinch and punch, which is right up here. Just double click them. As you can see, they get added up here. Select OK. So now what we're going to do is press the animate buttons on both of these. And we're going to come across 10 keyframes. As you can see, this is the 10th keyframe right here. We're going to have the amount all the way up. And we're going to have the angle to about 150, 0, 0, 0. So it's like that. And as you can see, that's that line we're going to get. Of course, by all means, you can experiment with the angle and the amount. This is just how I prefer it. And then the next thing we're going to do, come to the pinch and punch. And then we're also going to animate this as well. So as you can see, the animate button is right here for pinch and punch select it and now since we have all the key all of this all the way up we need to come to the start and put them all the way down so as you can see our body is going to be normal then we're going to come to that 10th keyframe again and we're going to put everything all the way up like so now this isn't going to affect the 10th keyframe it's going to do the effects while we are jumping in the air like that so I'm going to X out of this and if I play this through now, I'll just size, uh, put this down to preview and auto. If I play this through, we're now going to disappear. Just like that. 
And that is how simple it is to do the disappearing part. Now we literally do the exact same thing to make us reappear. The reappearing part can be a bit more difficult because sometimes it's gonna make it look like you're still, like it's gonna look like a still image and that is what you don't want. So I'm gonna show you how to counter that as well. So now we need to find where we actually uh, come up here, find our next position and you are gonna jump again like I'm doing right now. And then you find your highest point here. And again, I'm gonna use the arrow keys. And mine is probably right here. So I'm gonna set this to best and full. I'm gonna cut out the start I had. Then I'm gonna simply take another snapshot and select save. Now I'm gonna drag and drop this. This time I'm gonna make this one 10 frames. So uh, before we do that though, the gap in between, this is how long it'll take you to teleport. So right now, this is only a few frames. So I'm gonna come across a little bit more, about five. And then I want this to be 10 frames long. So for this one, again, we're gonna to come to five because this is on 25. As you'll see, we're gonna to come to uh, 29. It comes to zero, so that's five. We come across to five and that equals 10. So we're gonna shorten this down. And then we also want this to sync back up here. So then it won't be a still image like that. So the same thing again, the event pan and crop, and I'm gonna maximize this all the way out and we're gonna to come to the masking and we're gonna mask ourselves out on this jump here. So again, the anchor creation tool and I'm gonna start down here. Now this part here, as you can see, um, there is a gap in between my hands, but we're just gonna simply go around it. And the reason for that is because if we go inside, it's gonna cut off one of our fingers and it'll look really weird. If we just leave that gap there, it'll make it look much better because we're gonna add the uh, linear blur, which will just blur it all out anyway. And once again, connects back up. You know you're connecting back up when you see all dots turning yellow. And then this is what you should get. We can X out of this. As you can see, this is what we're gonna get. There is a bit of an outline on it, but don't worry, we're gonna get rid of that. Again, we're coming to the event effects. This time we're gonna add the same thing, linear blur and pinch and punch. Select okay. So this time coming to the animation button, right on the first keyframe, we're gonna have the exact same amount we had on the last keyframe of when we were jumping the first time. So the angle is gonna be at 151.000, or is 150, I think, let's just check back. 150, so we're gonna select 150 for this. And then the amount was all the way up. Then we're gonna come across to the end keyframe right here, and we're simply gonna turn it all the way down. Now we're gonna to come to the pinch and punch and do the exact same thing. So we need to select the animation button. The first keyframe is gonna be like this, where everything is gonna be up. Then at the end keyframe, if we come across here, we're gonna turn everything down. So it makes us look back to normal and it's not all distort. So if I X out of this and we play this part through now, that is what we're gonna get. So I'll just change this from back to preview and auto and we'll play this. That is what we're gonna get. So if I play the full thing now, we disappear, we reappear. As you can see, it does look like we have a slight pause there. So if that's the case, you literally have to just cut out one frame and it'll make it look more in one motion like that. And same for this one, if yours looks like it freezes here, then you'd cut out one frame from here. So go back one keyframe, bring this back to normal, and then just like that, you've created a teleport effect in Vegas Pro 14. But that is how you create a teleport effect in Vegas Pro 14. If you want to check out the other one I've done, a link to it will be in the description. That is much easier and a much basic one to do. It's literally a screenshot, drag and drop a green screen, and you're done. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.